Hello to our happy community. Hope your day is going positively well. Yesterday's video was about leaving a legacy and we want to leave a legacy for our grandchildren and so on and so on. So that way they know that there is more to life than what meets the eye and that anything that they put their mind to, they can do. And also that there's more to this world which I think I'm just, I just said that. But anyways, there's more to this world. And so that way when, you know, the, the, the things that they implement will open new opportunities and open new experiences for them. And so we want to help them in, um, along their journey. We want to help them along their journey to, to be able to experience beauty and to experience um, new things that, um, you know, that, that they didn't even know existed. And so we were also talking about how social media is um, impressionable upon our children. And so Rhapsody here decided to go on TikTok for a moment just to see what it was about. And she also experienced some things and she wanted to share with you all. Yeah, so when I got on TikTok for a moment, it was a lot of, I would say negativity, but it was a, it was suggesting like men are bad, women are bad, you know, blah blah blah, and and I was like, social media really does have an agenda. Like it's it's how do I say it? Um, well, our children's minds are are just remember because. Um, they learn from their surroundings. They learn from what they're watching, what they what what they're what what they're around, you know. And so, what you focus on grows. And so, if your children are focusing on that, then you're going to notice your children starting to implement or do those things that they're learning offline. So, it's very important that we, you know watch what our children if they are going to be online watch what it is that they are watching and make sure that they're not getting on things that they're not supposed to be getting on and listening to things that they're not supposed to be listening to because um it is going to start showing within your children if you don't stop it now and so we want to um catch it before it happens so uh, you know as parents you know we we have a role to play in in making sure that our children are safe even when it comes to being online. Yeah, and when I was watching the content, I started thinking how they were like how they were thinking and I was like, well, I don't believe what they're saying. I, so why am I thinking that way? But uh, they how do I, it, yeah, it's it's like you said, children have an impressionable mind. And I'm able to see through it like I caught myself. I caught myself, but not everybody does. Not everybody can see that they um, that they're instilling things in your head that they're they're planting ideas and thoughts into your head not everybody can see that but I, I was able to stop myself and see through that but I mean especially kids because a lot of kids are on social media they they don't know they don't know that they don't know that what they watch what they consume will consume them will consume them and it literally you become what you consume and they but they don't know that and so it's kind of like it, it's something that um, we should definitely pay more attention to, keep an eye on, and make sure that our children is, um, you know, watching or being educated the right way instead of just being entertained. And there's a huge difference, right? So, you know, you, we think that our children are being educated and stuff while online, but in yeah, they're being educated, all right, but being educated with the wrong information, with wrong um, criteria, the wrong stuff. They're they're just being educated with the wrong things, and so we we want to protect our children and make sure that our children are um, safely safely you know using these devices the right way. So we love you all. Uh, we hope that you all have a wonderful and amazing day. Leave a comment down below and let us uh, know what you think about, you know, how social media can um, create a better environment for our children when they 
they do jump online because they're going to jump online whether you know whether whether we like it or not whether they're being homeschooled and they need the computer or whether you know even if you walk out of uh, the room for a minute you know children children tend to you know get off get off track so they're going to jump online and what pops up you know is is we want to make sure the right things pop up not you know not things that are going to you know lead them elsewhere so we want to make sure that our children are safe while being online and you notice that even in schools they, they use computers even in schools whether you know just like i said whether you know it or not they're going to uh, so we want to make sure that what pops up and what they're watching is um, appropriate for their age so we love you all and we hope you all have an amazing day and um, like I said, leave a comment down below what you think about um, the social media and um, what, you know, what, what, what you think should change within the system. Even when I was, um, you know, younger, I remember getting online and the first things that popped up was like, what, porn sites and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know if that happens as much as it... Um, as as much as it did back then but we we still want to be mindful about what it is that is um popping up while our children are on line so again leave a comment down below let me let me know what you think about the social media and how um we can change it to better um benefit us all love you all have an amazing day